Okay, so some people have been asking what is going on with my Hickman line. So, um, forgive my drawing. I am not the artist of the, fam the family my mom is. But anyway, this would be my heart. This would be, these are the like the main vessels going into the heart. So when they put a Hickman line in, um, they basically feed it into one of the major vessels and then it feeds down into your heart. Um, and then these are like where you can administer medications or you can take blood out. So what happens, uh, or well, a couple of things could be happen happening and that may be um, messing with my central line. So the first thing that I think is happening, it happened in my port, is something called fibrin. So fibrin is like a, basically like a scab. And so when they put the central line in, the Hickman in, um, because there's injury to the vessel, um, it creates a little bit of fibrin along the outside of the Hickman line. And this is fine as long as this tip here can still is still open and can like medications can go into it and blood can be drawn out. What happens in some people over time is inflammation because this this line is constantly moving moving like let's say I move my right arm over here um, that moves this entire line my heart beating um, or my heart beating really fast makes this line move so it causes causes inflammation and that inflammation causes fibrin to continue to grow around the line and sometimes the fibrin can like dip down along the tip of the line and kind of grow a tail. So what happens now is medications can go in through the line, but when we try to draw blood back up into the line, this fibrin gets in the way, like this tail kind of moves up and blocks the line. Um, so that's a major problem. Um, the fibrin developing around the line can lead to something called Cribsy, it's um, a catheter, which is this catheter related blood stream infection. Cribsy, uh, so this is really important to get rid of. Um, you don't want to keep a line in a person that has fibrin over the tip because it can lead to cribsy, catheter-related bloodstream infection, also called sepsis. I've had sepsis once. It is not a fun thing. Um, a lot of people die from sepsis, so this is a really not a good scenario. So there are, if this is, well, okay, so this is the first thing that could be happening, and this is what I think is happening because it's exactly like my, my port before. It's acting the same way. What also can help in, can happen though is uh, this purple tip can like be touching the heart over here and it will block it off. So sometimes it's called migration. The tip of the catheter comes over here. It touches your heart basically and then it gets blocked off. I really don't think that's what's happening. Um, this happened all at once. So I really think that it's probably fibrin. Um, it's something I've had problems with before. I think there are a few options. Um, the best option usually is to actually take the line out and put in a new one. However, I'm concerned about that over the course of my lifetime. Like if we have to, if we have to keep removing these lines and putting them back in, eventually I'm going to not have any type of um, IV access. So. I'm concerned about that. I think there is a way that they can put an instrument in here into this um, tubing and like like jiggle the tubing to get the fibrin loose. I don't know that that's an option for this type of Hickman line though. So um, when I meet with a surgeon, I'll probably know more. But anyway, that's what I, I just wanted to explain what I think is going on. I think this is fibrin and that the line will probably have to be removed. Um, a lot of people were confused or 
asking what some of these things meant. And I understand you, if you don't live with it every day, you're not going to know what all the terms mean. So I thought I would try to, to draw it and explain it. I hope this helps.